Hello everybody, I am Dr. Jitendra Pandey and today we are going to discuss about digital evidence and the learning objectives are after going through this unit you will be able to know about the digital evidence and the best evidence rule understand Locart's principle identify various types of digital evidence learn digital evidence investigation procedure prepare first responders toolkit create forensic tool testbed document the forensic tool testbed and summary of the forensic tools test the tools and recognize common mistakes of first responder digital evidence or electronic evidence is any probative information stored or transmitted in digital form that a party to a court case may use at trial before accepting digital evidence a court will determine if the evidence is relevant whether it is authentic if it is hearsay and whether a copy is acceptable or the original is required some of the popular electronic devices which are potential digital evidence are hard disk drive cd or dvd media backup tapes usb drive biometric scanners digital camera smartphone smart card pdas etc the digital evidence are used to establish a credible link between the attacker victim and the crime scene some of the information stored in the victim system can be a potential digital evidence are IP address system login and remote login details browsing history log files emails images etc now we'll discuss Lucard's principle wherever a criminal steps wherever he touches whatever he leaves even unconsciously will serve as a silent witness against him not only his fingerprints or his footprints but his hair the fiber from his clothes the glass he breaks the tool mark he leaves the paint he scratches the blood or semen he deposits or collects all of these are more bear mute witness against him this is evidence that does not forget it is not confused by the excitement of the moment it is not absent because human witness are it is a factual evidence physical evidence cannot be wrong it cannot purge itself it cannot be wholly absent only human failure to find it study and understand it can diminish its value digital evidence is usually not in a format that is directly readable by human therefore it requires some additional steps to convert it into a human readable form in the form of writing digital evidence must follow the requirement of the best evidence rule
the best evidence rule which had been established to deter any alterations of evidence either intentionally or unintentionally states that the court prefers the original evidence at the trial rather than a copy but will accept a duplicate under these conditions the first condition is the original was lost or destroyed by fire flood or any other acts of god this has included such things as careless employees or cleaning staff second the original was destroyed in the normal course of business and the third is the original is in possession of a third party who is beyond the court's jurisdiction this rule has been relaxed to allow duplicates unless there is a genuine question as to the original's authenticity or admission of the duplicate would under the circumstances be unfair now we will discuss about the characteristics of digital evidence the first characteristic is admissibility it must be in conformity with common law and legislative rules there must be relationship between the evidence and the fact being proved digital evidence is often ruled in admissible by courts because it was obtained without authorization in most jurisdictions a warrant is required to seize and investigate digital devices in a digital investigation this can present problems where for example evidence of other crimes are identified while investigating others second characteristic is reliability the evidence must be from indisputed origin the third characteristic is completeness the fourth characteristic is convincing to judges the evidence must be convincing and understandable by the judges fifth characteristic is authentication the evidence must be real and related to the incident courts largely concern themselves with the reliability of such digital evidence the investigator must be able to prove the authenticity of the digital evidence by explaining the reliability of the computer equipment the manner in which basic data was initially entered the measures taken to ensure the accuracy of the data as entered the method of storing the data and the precautions taken to prevent its loss the reliability of the computer programmers used to process the data and measures taken to verify the accuracy of the program